if that makes it clearer for you because, but because it's only one line we don't need to do that so then it goes through and goes db delete sprite i and i is one so it deletes the sprite one and then i plus plus so it deletes the sprite two and it keeps looping until it's bigger than thirty and then it deletes image one because we've only got one image the background and then it returns back so let's go delete image deletes background and then here returns back to windows now we've done all the main function let's go to the setup function oh let's go to the setup dot h let's go and put here the setup function you could put all these functions in cpp files which you should really actually do but I'm just putting them in header files so you can see it more easily and see what's happening and the transitions more easily now db sync on this just turns it so it's able to sync the screen so it turns on sync so when it's syncing to our main.cpp file here it can actually sync because it knows it can sync now it's telling the max sync rate which we want to be 60 because that's a good sync rate you can muck around but the 60 is the top sync rate you can use with dark gdk so max sync rate so what this does is disables the escape key so in main.cp it can actually escape can use the escape key so people can't just press it for the fun of it disables use now moving on to our next one this one i kind of skipped in the last tutorial but it's the sort of chroma keying effect because obviously you don't want to just a square with the, your sprites you want it to look seamless so these three numbers is the pink colour so on paint the bright pink colour is that colour so pink colour with chroma keying then we go on to our load function box and we, we already explained it in here so let's just say the wall the floor and the bullet. This is our create function. Um, this the idea of two. So this is our box. This is our wall. And this is the floor. Okay, we've done our setup to h. Now I'll go. Let's go into the moving to h. Let's go to our first function void moving. So this is our moving function. And then we go into our first if statement. If db left key. So the left key. And what we want to do is rotate it 90 degrees, move it back and rotate it back. So all this is movement of character. And just copy that onto the three ones. And what really happens now that we know what our d db sync key does, what it really does is just rotate it 90 degrees move it back and rotate it back but you won't actually see that happening because it's not synced so if we put db sync after each one it would you would actually see it rotating and everything but because we're not you don't see it rotating so it looks a lot smoother same with the db right key so let's copy all these on because it's the movement of our character and then this is the movement of the bullet it's only going to go one way so it's quite simple db rotate sprite 90 degrees move it forward 5 and rotate it back so movement of bullet let's just copy those all on there then we go on to our collision function so let's write the collision function now we go on to another if statement if 2 collides with 3 now that we've described in our setup.h file really easily, we can easily see what 2 and 3 is. 2, our box, and 3, our wall. So we can write here, collision between wall and person, or box. And inside, movement of player back. So movement onto player so he can't go through the wall. Let's just copy that onto these three. And then we go on to our second if statement in our collision function. 
if DB Sprite climbs between 2 and 4. So 2 being our box and 2 being the floor. So here, let's write collision between person or box and floor. Here just mean player move up. Now into our last statement in the collision function. If DB Sprite climbed the bullets in the wall, because we know the bullets 5 and the wall 3. And we know it's not been created here. So if you want to, as an added thing, we can just put another comment all on its own saying number 5 taken, open parentheses, bullet. So when we're creating more, so we're not going to assign anything 5, so the bullet won't happen or might turn into another wall or something. So here, bulletin wall, and delete the sprite, open parentheses, bullet. Now go on to our gravity, so we can just write simple gravity, and we don't really need to see if an if function for gravity, because gravity is always happening, there's no if about it. So just happily take that out of the if statement, move sprite, carrot player, down. Gravity all done, moving on to our shooting function. So, our shooting function. If the bullet is non-existent, so bullet non-existent, then we can go and see if the shift key has been pressed down. So, if the shift key has been pressed down. And then we can execute a command. So, make it. And that's it done. We've described all of our projects so far. I hope this has helped quite a lot with your understanding of our project. If I've missed out anything, and yeah, I hope you really enjoyed it. Bye.